If you're looking for a smart scale that can measure your body fat, your bone density, the amount of muscle mass you have, then this video might be for you. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Bodypedia Smart Scale. It's supposed to be able to compete with the in-body scales. I'll put some pictures up on the screen right now. These are what we know to be some of the best bioimpedic measuring scales on the market. In this video, I'll explain how these scales actually work and whether the Bodypedia scale is a good option, especially because it's a fraction of the price of an in-body scale. Now, if you're wondering whether you should be listening to me or not, remember, I'm not just a tech reviewer. I'm also a health and fitness coach with an honors degree in biokinetics and I help a lot of people lose weight. So reviewing a smart scale is probably the best video I could make for you. So hold on tight. This is going to be an interesting one. First up, we'll look at the design of the Bodypedia scale. It's made of a glass panel, dark black edges, and it has these very modern handles, which does the job you need it to do when measuring your body fat percentage and your bone muscle mass. So let me explain exactly how these scales actually do that. This scale emits a frequency. The frequency then goes through your feet, through your body, into your hands, and completes the loop. And the frequencies travel slower through certain densities of body tissue. And that's how it knows whether you have muscle or water or bone or fat. And that's in a nutshell how these scales measure the different amounts of body fat. But what we need to know is the accuracy of these scales are debatable, like 60% accurate. So if the body scale says you have 25 kilograms of muscle mass, it could technically be 32, could also technically be 22. We don't really know. However, it is the most accurate measurement of body fat percentage and muscle mass we have available other than going through to something like a DEXA scan, which is just a very, very overpowered way of measuring your body fat. Or you can also do a submersion technique to measure your body fat. However, let's be honest, it's either going to be one of these scales or one of the in-body scales to measure the body fat because the other things are just ridiculously expensive. So let's test out the Bodypedia scale and see what it has to say. First off, setting up the app is super simple. You use your manual. That's right, I actually use the manual. All you have to do is page through to the end, scan the QR code, download the app, and the app will take you through it step by step. Now the question you might have is, is it worth buying one of these? Should I go for the in-body scales or is this okay? And how does it actually work? So let me show you how this thing works. As soon as you have your app connected, you simply start the test, step on the scale, go down, grab your handles, make sure that your thumbs touch the aluminium parts and don't make this mistake do not keep your socks on the frequencies can't go through step down take off your b-active socks get back on grab your sensors stand upright nice and straight and it'll beep as soon as it's done so it says i weigh 80.5 kilograms i have 15.13 kilograms of body fat 61.7 kilograms of muscle mass, let's go. And I am in the very normal division of what they think I should weigh. However, my body fat percentage is right on the edge according to them. Um, I wouldn't agree, but that's according to their normative data. So what they basically did is they said, all right, this is a correlation we have with patients who are classified as obese and have all of these comorbidities, for example, uh, diabetes and high blood pressure and cholesterol, blah, 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 blah. So they said, all right, so above a certain weight, this is classified as being overweight or above a certain percentage of body fat, this is classified as being unhealthy. However, I'm really not at a point where I would agree with that. However, let's leave it there. Their skeletal muscle mass says that I'm normal. You also get to see the amount of water mass you have, which is 48.41 kilograms. Body fat mass, I already said. It even measures my protein levels somehow with 12.59 kilograms, which they say is normal. And my mineral levels are also normal. All of these things you can get from the scale. Remember though, it's not super accurate. It's there, but not super accurate. It puts you in a nice square zone as to are you sarcopenic, which means do you have low amounts of muscle mass and obese, or are you just slightly thin, or are you an athlete, or a bunch of other things that you can be classified as according to the app. I wouldn't listen too much about it. For example, they're telling me that I have too much fat on my body. I don't agree. But anyways, they also give you things like 
visceral fat, so the amount of fat you have around your organs. Now this is a very important thing to know because if you have too much fat around your organs, this is very unhealthy for you and this is where most of your health issues comes from, from being overweight. So if you have a bit of a stomach without a lot of visceral fat, not a big issue. But if you don't have a massive stomach and a lot of visceral fat, that's very unhealthy. You don't want to be in that position. Okay, you also get to see what your basal metabolic rate is. That is the amount of energy your body needs per day to stay exactly where it is. So if you're trying to calculate how much calories you should be eating per day to lose weight, then you simply take that amount and deduct about three to 500 calories and you lose around 500 grams to a kilogram per week. Smart fact to know. And at the end, it gives you a total score. I got 77 points out of, I'm guessing, 100. Mm, I mean, it's a distinction, but I'm an athlete. I know my stuff. Should I be peak performance? No, because that is just not humanly possible. And that's a top tip for you. You don't have to be an athlete to be healthy. Now, just for some comparative data, I'm gonna go into my Planet Fitness here in South Africa and I'm gonna get onto the in-body scale and get the exact comparative data to, well, what the Bodypedia scale just gave me. And that, in a nutshell, is everything a smart scale has to offer. Now, the real question is, should you be buying one of these types of scales or not? Although the quality of the Bodypedia scale is impressive and the stats it can give you is very nice to have, what we need to realize is if you're gonna be measuring yourself every day or once a week with the error scale that big, you might be misled and your motivation might start to fade if it's not going into the right direction. So keep that in mind. Measuring once a month is probably way more accurate than trying to measure once every week. My top tip as a weight loss coach that has helped many people, I mean thousands of people lose weight, don't step on the scale more than once every second week or so. If your diet is on point and if you're being active, be active, then you're on the right track. I hope this video gave you some insight on how smart body scales work and I hope you make the right decision in whether you're gonna buy one or not. This was Theophan from We Do Tech, not Be Active, the other page I have. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.